Being an indie author is hard. The reason it's hard is because there are going to be days when you don't sell any books and you'll be looking at all of your different stats, whether it's Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Smashwords, or Find A Way Voices, and you'll find that no one has bought a book or a unit of work in a week, a month, two months, three months. It could even be longer, but don't let that discourage you. Just stop looking at your stats daily because the only thing that will do is bring your mood and spirit down. You have to focus on the long haul. You have to focus on the future. You have to keep putting into the work, keep putting into the writing, keep putting into making the videos, keep doing the things that you need to do in order to get yourself known and realize that this is going to be a long journey. It's going to be a difficult journey. There are going to be days that you want to give up, but you won't give up because you know why? If you do, that means you'll have to start all over. And that means you'll have to build up momentum and you'll have to get right back to where you are now. So don't give up. Keep working hard. Stop looking at all of your stats. Yes, it's important to know the growth of your business and what your which books are moving and which ones are not. But to check it daily and to check it three or four or five or six or seven times a day is only going to undermine your goal and your purpose. So I hope this video has been helpful. I hope the advice is useful. I'm speaking from experience. There have been times when I would check my Amazon account maybe 20 or 30 times a day just to find out that not one book has sold. And what that does for me is it puts me in a different frame of mind. It distracts me from the work that I need to do on a daily basis. So stay focused on your projects. Realize that eventually, if you keep at this, you are going to strike it. You are going to have that one book that will just take off and will elevate you. And you don't know, it could be your next book. It could be the book that you're working on now. 